Hello there. This is Dave Motohead out in the garage fixing stuff and doing things. Anyway, uh, what I got going today is I'm going to show you guys how to do a compression check uh, properly and a leak down test to find a problem. So let me put the hat cam on and show you what I got going on. Anyway, this is the uh, engine that we're going to be working on here. Uh, first of all, what you want to do to do a compression check is you want to hook the starter up to the uh, positive, you know, here, going to the battery, positive, and I got a ground cable hooked to the bell housing, and then uh, I've got me a, a remote starter button right here, and you want to go from start on the solenoid right there with the connector, and then back down to the battery, and then when you push the button, it'll, it'll turn the engine over, like that. Uh, this engine was a, out of a dune buggy somebody brought me, and it had this hooked up to this PCV valve and that I don't even think it's hooked up to anything and that was just a major vacuum leak and somebody put little bungs on the head here and put a vent pipes coming off the you see that vent coming off the head and it had some other screwed up things on it but anyway uh, what I did was I fired this engine up today I put a got the carburetor working and I put a gravity feed on it and I fired this engine up and what I found was that on this side it's only running on five cylinders and this side it's running on six or three and this side's only running on three cylinders. Anyway, it's running on five cylinders and uh, I've pretty much determined that number one cylinder is our problem here because of the fact that the spark plug was all oily and there was I could see oil dripping out of this number one but anyway so what we want to do is we want to do a compression check. Let me put my gloves on here. And like I said, I fired this thing up earlier today and it worked, you know, it ran good except for it's only running on five cylinders. So what I'm going to do first is, uh, first thing I've done is I've taken all the spark plugs out and because I like to do a compression check with no, you know, uh, compression on anything. So anyway, what we'll do is we'll take our compression checker hose here with the proper threaded deal and we'll thread it into number number uh, three here and we'll check this one first I already checked all of them and and we're good except for number one but I wanted to show you anyway then hook your little connector on there and and then uh, you want to hold the throttle wide open and then push the button and watch the gauge this thing's got some teeth missing off the flywheel, so the starter only catches once in a while. Come on, baby. It'll catch. Okay, so now you saw that needle move, and it's a, about 145. You want to keep cranking it with the throttle wide open until the needle stops moving and that pretty much tells you where we're at so that one looks like we're at like 145 psi so that cylinder's good so we want to let the air out and then we want to move this over to the next cylinder which we'll do number one now hopefully I'm getting this all on camera we'll do number one we want to screw our compression checker into there get it tight and hook our little connector on there and make sure that our air is let out and then we'll hit the button again and see what we got on number one okay you see we've got nothing so that's pretty much telling me that number one is the cylinder on this side that's not firing so what we're going to do next is we're going to take this apart and we're going to do a leak down test on this bad ride. So we'll uh, put this back in our good old snap-on tool kit and we'll get our leak down tester out. And uh, here's our leak down tester and I've got the appropriate connector for that. And uh, what we're, the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to uh, let me find a screwdriver here I know I got one someplace we're going to want to pull the spark plug uh, distributor cap off like so 
because we want to get on number one cylinder and you see this one's marked to do a leak down test what you got to do is you got to get top dead uh, center on whatever cylinder you're working on let's get this off there okay we've got that off and uh, we want to uh, take our wrench here and put us up to number number one top dead center and if you see here I've got this marked right there and uh, so I'm going to put it on zero right there it's lined up with zero and I can see that the distributor uh, rotor is pointing at me and it's lining up with number one you can see that number one and it's it's lined up so there it is right there and there it is right there so I'm going to call that number one top dead center there's other ways to check it but I know that that's it because with this point in there that means it's ready to fire and uh, that be the crank being at zero I'm going to say that that's top dead center you know ready to fire and the reason you want that top dead center is and ready to fire is because then the valves will be closed and you got to have the valves closed to do a leak down test and so we're going to stick our leak down tester tube down in there tighten it up and then we'll take our leak down tester and you always want to make sure that it's uh, that it's it's turned all the way off before you plug it in and then we want to plug this thing in here like this and then we want to get our air hose I'm kind of walking around and now I already adjusted my regulator on my tank here to where it's hundred psi because that's the recommended PSI for the uh, for the uh, leak down tester and so we've got that all done and the instruction said don't go over 100 PSI and turn to zero so now we're going to put this, hook this up and we're going to adjust it to where this comes all the way around to zero where it says set and you might not be able to see that but we're going to start turning it here until we get now you see the dial, the leakage part going, and it's all the way to set, all the way to zero. Okay, now it's showing us how much leakage we have, which uh, we have a lot. It's not holding, I mean, it's only holding like 15 PSI of pressure right now. So what we want to do now is we figured out that, that that's just leaking air right away. Uh, you want to listen. You want to listen to... The exhaust pipe you want to listen to the carburetor and you want to listen to the uh, to the crankcase and and see where the air is coming out so I'm listening right here to the exhaust pipe and I hear nothing and I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna open up this carburetor and I'm gonna listen and I really don't hear anything in the carburetor and so then I'm going to check this PCV thing. Well, I can hear something, but the best way to check is to open up the oil cap and listen. And I don't know if you can hear that or not, but it's just, it's hissing right away. I can hear a big hiss. I can actually feel, I can actually feel air coming out of it. And with this cylinder being uh, zero compression, and dripping oil out of it that pretty much told me that I got a piston problem but now with this leak down tester going and me feeling the air coming out of the out of the fill tube for the uh, crankcase that's pretty much telling me that we have a cylinder or a piston problem and that that's letting me diagnose what's wrong with this engine and I'm gonna say since I did compression checks on all the other cylinders and I have 145 to 150 psi of compression and this cylinder's got Zippo and the plug I pulled out was leaking oil and it was leaking oil out of the, the hole in number one exhaust and it was only running on three or two on this side five cylinders this leak down tester is pretty much telling me right now that I've got a bad piston right here in number one because the air is going in here and coming out the, the cap so I'm going to disconnect this and turn it all back to zero and put it away because now I've pretty much figured out that I need to take this head off and pull this cylinder out and uh, that's going to tell me 
what the problem is and I'm expecting to find either a broken piston or a bad ring or something in there so anyway this is Dave Motohead and that's how to do a compression check and a cylinder leak down test and find out you know whether it's a valve or a exhaust valve intake valve or cylinder and I'm pretty damn sure that that's a bad piston or cylinder on number one right there and I'll uh, rip it apart and see what I find. Anyway, this is Dave Motohead and thanks for watching.